Excellent. Very good evening to you. My name is Mukete Khadebe, and of course known as the pioneer, Mr. Karakara. It is a lovely Tuesday evening, and uh, we are officially between 6 and 7 p.m. The Capital Talk coming through uh, from 20 FM 93.6, the station uh, that definitely rocks you most. And of course, uh, just uh, giving a big shout out to the Cap City Drive, holding it down between 3 and 6 p.m. And of course, coming through between 12 and 3 p.m., it was the A-list. We had room 9.12 coming through between 9 and 12 p.m. Uh, with the capital breakfast, really, uh, you know, starting up uh, your Tuesday, uh, you know, morning right there. And of course, uh, with really uh, interesting topics. I'm not going solo. I'm with the ever beautiful one, uh, the yellow bone. Uh, that is Phila D. Uh, How are you, my darling? <laughs> Fine and you. I'm great. Mm -hmm. Happy Women's Month, eh? Thank you. Thank you. But I'm admiring you, I'm adoring you. You know, a lot of women in the country do not get some of these things, you know. Mm. Uh, the only time they get to speak to their partners is when, you know, they are asked for a, hey, wanao kaki, the omosakwats. Hey, did you, did you wash the clothes? Did you, you, you know, such things. Like now I was at the mall and I saw this child crying and, you know, I could see the father distancing himself. And I'm like, ah, but bruh. You were there, almost during, yeah, you were yeah. there during the development stages. <laughs> Well, exactly 14 minutes after the hour, 6 o'clock, this is the Capital Talk, baby. We are with you between 6 and 7 p.m. every Monday till always. And of course, pushing it uh, to Thursday, uh, that is uh, the mid of August, uh, adding up our sports show. So you must be looking forward to that and covering up uh, everything that happens in local football and uh, sports at large. And of course, uh, this is where we are looking at the socioeconomic aspect of the Capital Talk. Uh, yesterday we had an interesting discussion and looking at you know uh, the tragedy that happened at the FNB stadium uh, mm -hmm. where officials uh, you know uh, you know cost uh, two lives by their failure to do their job properly but of course also uh, you know uh, still sending condolences to the families that lost uh, their breadwinners right then in studio tonight we're joined by Mposebeka uh, from uh, you know a very uh, uh, interesting organization I was tempted to call it but I'm gonna allow them to talk about it I was also joined by our seasoned uh, you know poet in the studio um, Polly Hutus he has something for Women's Month women you are important women you are enough in case you, they, they haven't told you that today we are telling it uh, to you in your face that uh, you are enough you are important we love you we respect you we honor you we worship the ground that you walk in, or you walk on. I saw an interesting post, Philadelphia. You know, someone mm -hmm. said, uh, "Every sinner has a future, and every saint has a past." Mm -hmm. Very interesting, eh? Very interesting. Very it's interesting. actually deep. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. sixteen after six o'clock. Interesting discussion. How was your day? Talk, talk to me. Oh, it was really great. Yeah. Uh, very, very, very. Woke up to an unexpected um, situation, rather. But it turned out to be great. Is it? It is. So we'll talk about it over dinner, ne? Yeah. You missed me, but I, I know. Right? Unfortunately, you know. the filler couldn't come through. <laughs> I, I don't want to, t to talk about her new car, uh, but she didn't come through because of the car. Let's, let's move to the guests. <laughs> we'll talk about everything, of course. Mr. Sebega, good evening. Good evening, Mr. Khadev, how are you? I'm well. Uh, we're going with, it's non jabulo, ne? Nuzi. No, no. 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 <laughs> no she's, yeah. she's smiling, so you know, uh, when she's happy like this, I, I see jabulo. the njabulo part. We have a cameraman in studio today, very interesting. Nuzi, how are you? I'm all right. It's mm -hmm. Women's Month, how can I not be all right? You look beautiful, Definitely. Eh? You look beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Where's the ring? Well, there's no ring. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So you're available, or? I am available. Jesus, Miss <laughs> Willie. No, Miss Willie. The cameraman is still thinking about it. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Zebeka, how are you? No, I'm doing very fine and 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 and, and thank you, Mr. Mukiti, for giving us an opportunity to come finally in mm -hmm. the studio. Yes. You wanna come closer to the mic a bit? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. And you look amazing. Clean shirts. Jesus, this man. Because look at TV fair, Lamo, you know. <laughs> but interesting stuff. Forum mm -hmm. for empowerment, you know. Uh, let's talk about that. Yeah, um, last year we, I and some of my, my friends who are students currently as we, as we speak, we started an organization um, that is called Forum for Empowerment that um, advocates for gender equality through holding empowerment talks and dialogues and basically what we do, we even go to our, um, high schools 
you know, trying to close that gap of knowledge because we understand that a um, lot of a lot of our brothers and sisters at home they don't have uh, um, those resources, in fact, to capacitate themselves with the necessary knowledge in terms of the life beyond university tenure. So we just want to be um, the new age mm. movement that seeks to empower the youth. Amazing, amazing. Mm. Eighteen minutes after the hour, six o'clock. In case you didn't know, the unemployment rate in South Africa today is just around twenty-eight uh, percent, and. Uh, uh, the dropout rate in, in universities has actually gained 1% from the 40% is now 41%. Uh, disturbing news indeed, you know, uh, we might be, you know, laughing about it, but it's really disturbing news because you begin to ask yourself what went wrong and what happened to these young people. Well, let's, uh, let, let's just uh, deeply look at this, but I'm, I'm going to go to Nozipo. Nozipo. Yes. yes. Forum for, em for Empowerment. Why, why exactly did you guys focus on, on schools? Why, I mean, you could have focused on... Um, and there's a lot of tribes, uh, Sintel Towers, uh, there's also who are, uh, people who are pushing, you know, business empowerment. Why did you guys specifically go into the education sector? Well, we feel that the youth is our diamonds. Okay. If they shine, the country shines. Jesus. And, well, we cannot shine without education. Education Come is, on. is the basic need mm. for everybody. So we feel that every child does not only have a right to education, but they need to fulfill that right. And they also have an, a responsibility to go to school, to perform well in their academics and to change the world by changing themselves first. So yeah, that's why we mainly focusing on academics. Which school specifically do you guys target? Well, we target high schools most okay. of the time because we feel that the, the high schoolers are going through a very rough phase. I mean, yes. being a teenager is no is it off? I mean, like, that's the stage where everything just comes all at once and you've got to discuss, mm. dis dis excuse me, you got to sort of know which path to choose. Yes. But then at the very same time, you're confused. You're thinking of the latest trends and you sort of like lose focus a bit. Yes. 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 Yeah. Especially, especially if I can just add there. Mm. Um, because I was coming to you to ask you to say, before we can even go to the, you know, mm. implementation part and that, on a more strategic, uh, you know, uh, level, um, for, uh, what sort of, what for, what sort of uh, plans, uh, you know, objectives do you guys, uh, you know, develop in, in making sure that uh, indeed, uh, you know, uh, uh, the the goal is met. Yeah, what we have done by far, if I, I can hear it from that point, yeah, we 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 are targeting um, the rural and township schools because we understand that that's where the challenges lies because it's either. Uh, um, there are no icons to give back to the community mm. or, or, or alcohol, teenage pregnancy that are in the center of all uh, um, the life span. Just, just there, yeah. alcohol and teenage pregnancy. Yes. The areas that you focus on, how long have you guys actually started doing the job? I, I just want to check that and, and, yeah. and uh, ha have you seen results and maybe what, what are some of the challenges that you come across? Yeah. Um, so far, we have started our, our, our tour in March because we only founded last year. Okay. So we visited six high schools in my um, circuit, Mutupa circuit in Zanini. Yes. And then we addressed six schools. And then what we have done is we don't we didn't want to, to, to only motivate students only, but we wanted to encourage them and give them application forms. And where possible, we even assist them with admissions fee where we can. Mm. And then we are waiting for the result now to come out from the high schools and we are liaising with the principal to say that as soon as the results are out, give us the best possible student that we can work with and then we'll try by all means to make sure that the, these students are, are considered in the universities. They don't have to apply, we'll come back home and collect them so that we can be able to close that gap because we don't want to motivate you and leave you hanging. Yes. We are saying that if you are motivated and you feel that this is the path that you want to take. Let us assist you where you can, but you need to perform and raise up your hands and say that you can be able to close the gap uh, 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 from being not informed and to knowledge as well. 22 minutes after mm -hmm. 6 o'clock, and you'd agree with me, Philadine. Mm. This kind of project demands a lot of financial muscles. Who funds you? Um, so far, to be honest, we've been uh, funding ourselves. 
Okay. So you uh, don't have white monopoly. No, we don't have white. <laughs> no, we don't want to be captured. <laughs> we don't want to be captured. But nonetheless, we we we've been funding this thing from our own pockets, okay. our our trips, our mm-hmm. journey. Um, recently, we were in Trompanan High School in Sochangube Block L. Um, last week, Friday, um, we really want to thank Mr. Mukwena for giving us an opportunity to do the motivations there. And then, but we're looking forward for it to, to any sponsorship, to anyone who can be able to come and assist us. Because with the event that surely we will come and talk about it as in time goes by, we do need certain resources to fund the event. Hmm. It's, a, it's a very interesting uh, project that you guys are working on, especially when you target... Uh, or when the main focus is is education. So do you target only uh, location schools or rural schools? Do you have like specific schools specifically? Well, so far we do not have specific schools. Mm -hmm. We target every high school that we come across, Mm -hmm. you know, because we don't want to segregate people, you know, yeah, yeah. be choosy mm. and all, because everyone needs this. We're democratic. We're very democratic. Yeah, Yeah, that's great. Yeah, in our target. Um, we are mostly targeting the average schools and low performing ones oh, because um, you can't go to a high school that is giving more than 100% and try to motivate them while you can take your energy and resources and go and motivate mm. those who need it the most. Okay. So yeah. we, 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 we do look at you want, okay. want the quality. Yes, yeah, because exactly. I wanted to ask um, now regarding the average learners mm. who now become motivated. You get those ones that are motivated from the onset and average students that are now motivated. Do you have mechanisms in place to ensure that they, they keep up with that motivation mm. from going from uh, 45% for, for math to now a whooping 60%, you know, that gradual step. Do you have mechanisms to help those type of learners because they also feel like, I also want to go to varsity and yeah. I've been underperforming. Yeah. In, in our addresses, for an example, last week, um, 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 Friday, when I was addressing from Panana High School, uh, I mentioned a critical factor to say that sometimes we are not failing or we are not getting enough results maybe because we are not uh, knowledgeable. It's mm-hmm. because we are not giving each other one another an opportunity to start. I spoke about the power of TV. Um, I, I asked my, uh, those learners to say that, what are you watching from six, from six o'clock up until 10 o'clock? They told me about scandal, uh, uh, skim sum, uh, uh, generation, mm-hmm. uzaro, and so on and so on. With that available, automatically the psychological will to study is no longer there because the appetite, the, the mm-hmm. fatigue. So we need to prioritize certain things um, as in when you want change in yourself, it must start with you. Even though, yes, of course, we do have certain programs that we do leave the, the, the lecturer to say that this is how perhaps maybe you can be able to work with this and that. But we, st- we still believe that the most important thing is time. How do you divide yeah, your time? Yeah. You cannot watch TV from 6 o'clock and 11 to 11 o'clock and expect to produce uh, a great results. You need to sacrifice that year because metric is very important. And metric is a deciding factor for what you are going to do for the next five years. Because if you pass metric very well, you know that, that for the next three years or four years, I'm going to university. But if you don't, you'll be littering around and then thinking of nyaupe and other things. So time is very important. They just have to prioritize their schedules. Yeah. On exactly 26 minutes after the hour, six o'clock. This is the Capital Talk, baby. Uh, we are with you every Monday till Wednesday between 6 and 7 p.m. This is 20 FM 93.6. Uh, the station that drops you most, it is Gauteng's fastest growing radio station by far. Of course, coming second uh, in the uh, you know, campus-based community radio stations uh, uh, in the entire South Africa. And of course, uh, uh, this is where we are now, 26 after 6 o'clock. Give us uh, you know, a call on 0123-24936. That is 0123-24936. And alternatively, we are on Facebook. Uh, check in some of your comments right there. This one is Space FM Space. Uh, 93.6. Alternatively, do join us on Twitter at it's one fm hashtag the capital talk. Uh, we are joined by uh, I was nosy point Mr. Mr. Mposi Becker, uh, all the way f- uh, indeed uh, from uh, you know Forum for Empowerment, looking out uh, you know on the needs of our young people. And very important, I'm a parent, I'm listening, I'm at home. You speak mm. about programs that our children indulge themselves in, mm. and I, I know that my child loves schemes. I and mean, to somewhat extent, uh, you know, there's a lot of social skills that they receive from such programs yeah. how do you advise me to one make sure that my child remains disciplined in terms of his time uh, or, her, or her time uh, but still get the opportunity to really you know absorb the knowledge from uh, you know uh, the, t- the the tv programs that are produced there yeah um 
it's like when you are in your work environment mm. um every day you sit down and ask yourself and say you have a, a week plan or a day plan to say what exactly at what time am i going to do we are not saying that you shouldn't watch um these educational programs but we are saying that have a daily plan, a year plan, a monthly plan. But we are saying that without commitment to anything, you will not start. Without sacrifices, you will not finish. Mm. At some point, there are certain uh, programs that you need to sacrifice and say, I will not be able to watch this for only this year All because right. I understand that my future depends on my sacrifices. So we are just saying that you must be able to balance. Okay, prioritization. Prioritization, mm. exactly. 28 after 6 o'clock. How's Nozi? Especially the young girls. I think young girls are facing a lot of challenges. Yeah. How, 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 unique, uh, how you, unique do you guys, you know, uh, redefine your message when you speak to the young girls? I think young girls are very special. Let's, let's just uh, agree on that. I think uh, they face numerous challenges. I remember, you know, some boys would often say that, or even girls would say, yeah. uh, in a country, young girls are facing, you know, uh, uh, challenges when it comes to, uh, you know, uh, uh, their monthly periods because of some do not have sanitary towels. I want us to look at, uh, you know, in families where they do not have anything, where they are forced to choose between buying bread and sanitary towels. How does the message, how do you dis uh, rather redefine your message when you go to actually engage them? Well, because we're still studying off the ground, we've got banking details that we'll still uh, we'll give out later on for people who okay. would like to make donations. And then we'll take part of those donations and buy sanitary towels for girls that are in need of them, you know. Because, mm. like you said, girls, yeah. we are very important. I mean, sex education is among others. I mean, if Mpo yeah. makes you pregnant, Mpo <laughs> will miss the exam. Exactly, yeah. you know? exactly. I think most of the time, we women uh, lose it because of, of attention at high school. You all want right. to be the most popular girl. You want to stand amongst everybody, you know, fashion-wise and all that. Mm. So you're sacrificing your whole life for a two-minute fame. I didn't so. know. Now I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we urge them when we're going to give out these motivational talks, mm. we also urge them that they shouldn't, they should never at any point try to sacrifice their future for attention because that will cost you a lot no. yeah like um in in my address uh yeah. when we were at Fampanani, we did raise i did raise this critical factor to say that um you know women are very fragile and very special mm -hmm. not that we don't care about the boys we do care and we do attend yeah. to their challenges but if a girl falls pregnant at some point she's she's chased out at school and the boy remains mm. yeah. and and we we just want them to have a clear vision to say that um this is what i want to achieve because your achievement is not a, a, a similar achievement to yourself only but to those who comes before you for your family as well so if one family member can be successful in a family we are of a view that a lot can reap the rewards from there on 30 after 6 o'clock, if your actions inspire others to dream more, do more, and ultimately become more, then you are a leader. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, 31 after 6 o'clock, let's uh, go to a short break, and uh, definitely after that, uh, we're going to come back with Tony Hoots for giving us something special for Women's Month, and uh, pay some of our bills. I think some of your comments as well on Facebook. <laughs>